Hello and welcome to the video. So today I'm bringing you another product review and it's one from a familiar face, VR Rock. So you may have seen my previous video on VR Rock's prescription lenses for the virtual reality headset I did for the PlayStation VR 2 and they're absolutely fantastic. I still use them to this day so it means I can take these things off and then I can still see when I'm gaming which is fantastic. So They've kindly sent me some that they've just made for the Quest 3, which for the Quest 3 right now, I'm still having to wear my glasses inside uh, and they steam up and I have all the problems that I mentioned in the previous video. If you haven't watched that, you can go ahead, I'll link it in the description. The lenses work great. So you get a clip on frame that goes over the lens of your headset and then you get this little magnetic lens that has your prescription on and then you just clip on and off if you need to. So I'm excited to see what we've got for the Quest 3. The shape of the headset and the way the lenses come out, the pancake lenses, doesn't really give much room so i'm interested to see how the quest 3 lenses actually attach and how well they stay on let's have a look so packaging wise it's not the most premium of packaging it is just a small box and that's what the psvr2 ones came in was the quality of the product that we're checking it's not the quality of the packaging although sometimes it's nice to get a nice premium box so they come with the lenses which i imagine are in this orange sleeve here and then this blue light tester blue light blocker tester here which is a little light that you shine and it checks, checks if blocks of blue light. So let's have a look inside here. And it is bubble wrap, so they are protected. All you've got to do with these things is just send them in your prescription when you order, um, and it makes sure that you can see when you're playing VR. Now I mentioned before that the box isn't necessarily the most premium. That said, they do come in this fantastic little cover with logo on there, so it says VR Rock. There you are. There's your money shot. Um, and it's it's a sleeve that you can keep to keep them safe. Zips open. And then inside there, you'll see that you've got the lenses. Now they are currently in like a cellophane package. And that's just to keep them protected. So what we'll do is we'll proceed to the installation and then we'll do some testing, see how they are. Okay, so let's talk installation. So the lenses themselves, once you take them out of this case, are in like this little cellophane packet. So take them out of the cellophane packet and you'll have a lens that looks like this. Now on there, I don't know if you can see it, it's got a little L at the top, try and get it in focus, but it's right here, it's right here, L. And there'll be an R on the other one as well. Now ignore my prescription, you probably can't see Jack with that. <laughs> but what you need to do with these, you might be looking and thinking, Crackadoon, how do I, how do I connect this damn thing? They do send you an instructional video on how to actually connect it. I've watched that, which did give me a little bit of a revelation, because looking at this, I thought, on the PlayStation VR 2, you clearly had two different sections, and one was a magnetic clip that clips over it, and then one was your lens. On this one, it's a little harder to see, but if you get your nail in, you can see it clips off. So this is your magnetic piece, this is your lens, this is your actual prescription lens. Now this is the thing that you will take off if you're giving your headset to someone. This bit clips on, and I'll show you that in a moment. Then this bit just magnetically attaches. And it is fairly secure. I can honestly say that on the PlayStation VR 2, never had any issues with it dropping off. But if, for example, I wanted to give my partner a go of the headset, all I have to do is take this piece off, not this piece. This won't obscure any vision. So this is just covers the outside of the lens so that this can clip on magnetically. I'm gonna try and show you as best I can how to actually clip these things in. So as I mentioned, this is the L piece, which means it goes on the left. And we just wanna match the shape from the magnetic clip to the lens itself. Careful not to make any contact and you don't wanna be scratching. Try and match the shape up. It's hard to do while filming. Once you think you've got that as a perfect match, you want to push down until you hear a click like that. Make sure it's connected in each way and that it's not loose and that's connected. So now we have our magnetic outer shell connected. And when we want to insert our lens, all we do is match the L at the top with the L on the magnetic clip, match them up and there we go. That's magnetically attached. So now, now that shouldn't drop off. And there you go. That's how you connect the lens. So I'll connect the other lens and then we'll do some testing. Okay, so there we go. Both lenses are now in. You can see that the left and right lens are connected. So that's now got my prescription in and I should be able to see perfectly 
or as good as my prescription allows in the virtual reality headset, the MetaQuest 3. Now it does work brilliantly in the PlayStation VR 2 headset and they come out dead easily. Now the PlayStation VR 2 headset is a little bit bigger. You've got a bit more room inside to sort of stick your hand in and take them out when you need to. Uh, my hands are big and clumsy uh, with the Quest 3 being as small as it is. I'm finding it a little bit more difficult to sort of get in and out but um, not impossible uh, it may be that if I struggle too much I'll have to take the facial interface off but now that the clips are in taking out the magnetic lens actually isn't too much of a big deal you just got to get a, a grip on it and then it can go straight back in now I will say obviously the lenses are smaller like I say I'm struggling a little bit with how small they are so they do feel a little bit more <laughs> uh, small and tiny in my hands based on the PlayStation VR 2 ones, but that's not a bad thing. But uh, let's see if they actually work uh, and if I can see okay through them, which I'm sure they will. Like I say, I've used these lenses before in the past, but uh, to hell with these things. Let's try it out. So I'm just looking at the sort of the menu. I'm gonna load up like my painting game or something, just something where I know I can baseline it, uh, where I'd need to focus. My eyes feel fairly comfortable. I'm now in Vermilion. I can see as good as this prescription will allow me to. I'm not getting any eye strain or anything. I'm shaking my head. I don't feel the lenses moving around upside down. So they're, they're fairly stable inside. Uh, and like I said, now if I wanted to hand this over to someone who doesn't wear my prescription glasses, all I have to do is take the headset off, take those lenses out. So I would take them out. Excuse me. And then I'll put them in this little little case here, this VR Rock carry case. Not that I'm gonna take these lenses anywhere unless I was going to like a hotel or something. But in that case, to be honest with you, if I was going on my own, I would just leave them in the headset. But you get this cool little carry case. So I've got two of these now. So I've got one for the PlayStation VR 2 lenses uh, and one for the MetaQuest 3. I think the carry case is a about the same size. It doesn't make sense for them to uh, to make different size cases uh, unless the other one's particularly larger. Maybe I'll, I'll go do a comparison at some point. Uh, but they're downstairs and I can't be bothered to go down just for the purposes of this video. Just trust me, it's a pretty cool case. Go and watch my other video. Measure them on the screen if you have to. Um, but that's a cool carry case in case you need to put the lenses somewhere. Remember, lenses are expensive, which is the main reason that these prescription lenses are so important because you don't want to damage these things and you definitely don't want to damage these things because these lenses are, they're like babies. They need looking after. They're very fragile. <laughs> and it's gonna be very difficult if you need to replace a lens in your, in your virtual reality headset because those things aren't cheap and my glasses aren't cheap either. Uh, they're not particularly any, any designer brand, but they're still not cheap. So I'd rather not have to replace these as well as those for the sake of them rubbing together and damaging each other. It'd be a very toxic relationship, damaging each other. Now you do get the little spacer, you know, on the Quest 2, on the Quest 2 there's like a, a glasses space you can put in. On the Quest 3, the way they do this is there's like two buttons inside here and this thing sort of pulls out. So you can see the little space here that extends, so it pulls out a little bit, gives you a bit more room for your glasses. So you can argue that you don't really need them, but what happens when you pull that out is you feel the view is kind of reduced and it lets a little bit more light in. So if you want full immersion or if you, you, know, you just don't want to wear your glasses, um, maybe you're someone who only has to wear glasses when you're watching TV and gaming and you think, well, why do I need to put glasses on just to wear a headset? There's a solution for you. So there's a solution uh, for a number of different scenarios. And I personally think they are worth it purely on the financial risk avoidance standpoint, because like I say, it's expensive stuff if you have to replace them. So for the sake of buying these lenses, you're saving yourself potential costs in replacing lenses, headsets, glasses. So it's up to you. We have the costs. Um, but I can say that these these are definitely worth it in my opinion. And I love the ones that I've got on my PlayStation VR 2. They're, they're still on there. And it's not a massive pain to take off either, like I say. And I do play games with, with my partner or I allow the kids to use the headset. And uh, all I do is I make sure before they go on, I'll take the lenses off. And I'll do it myself because, again, I don't want anyone touching anything or breaking anything. <laughs> so there you go. VR Rock prescription lenses for the MetaQuest 3. Or if you want to go on the website, they're selling for other headsets as well. Like I say, there's the PlayStation VR 2 version. I think there's MetaQuest 2. If you use code Cragadoon, you'll get 10% off. So why not, eh?
I'm always trying to give back. I'm always trying to share the love and give back to people. So use code Kragadoon if you do make a purchase, you'll save 10%. If you're a glasses wearer like me, then first off, you're very cool. And secondly, get yourself some lenses, protect these bad boys and protect this bad boy at all costs. Very expensive babies. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.